Grand Island, Hastings, and Kearney local forecast with meteorologist Kit Kroniger. Well, partly cloudy skies with a bunch of puffy cumulus clouds out there across Nebraska. Signs of a primed atmosphere for severe weather. Now, we're going to be looking at the severe weather later on this evening, and it's going to be progressing from the west to the east. Let's take a look at some of the surface features right now. And we've got a live view here from meteorologist Tim Jones, who's out in Colorado, just outside of the local four viewing area. But we see we've got this dry line to our west, sparking off all of that thunderstorm activity. Ahead of all of this, very warm, very humid atmosphere, primed and ready for that severe weather to roll through. We've got plenty of moisture. Dew points in the 60s is always ample moisture for severe weather. And like I said, a very potent dry line. Colorado Springs, a 25 degree dew point zero out into the far southwest corner of the state there. So a lot of factors coming together for the potential for severe weather later on this evening in the Tri-Cities area, potentially, but more focused off towards the west right now. Temperatures are in the 80s here, so a lot of heat. We need heat for that lift, for the instability for those thunderstorms out to the west. 79 in Imperial, 80 degrees in Ogallala. Also fairly windy ahead of that, but we're going to see that low pressure system begin to pass through, but it's going to go slowly the next couple of days. That's going to help us uh, see some thunderstorm activity in the next couple of days. So let's take a look through Futurecast. First, we're focusing on the near term here. We've got a line of thunderstorms out toward the west. That's basically what we see on radar right now. As that progresses, it'll make its way into Nebraska after the 8 o'clock hour. And then by around 9 to 10 o'clock, it looks like it's blowing through the Lincoln County area. We could be seeing some very high winds with this, progressing to the Tri-Cities eventually overnight. Maybe some light thunderstorms tomorrow morning. But as we head into tomorrow afternoon, by the afternoon, we're looking at a chance for more thunderstorms here in central Nebraska. And that's going to continue overnight and even into Tuesday morning. We'll see that line into parts of eastern Nebraska. Local 4 Doppler radar right now. Nothing going on here in the middle part of the state, but out towards the west, that's where we've got that tornado watch. That's until 8 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time for our uh, viewing area, Perkins, uh, Chase County right now still under that uh, severe, uh, tornado watch. And then there towards northwest Colorado, around the Sterling area, there is that tornado warning active. And we do have meteorologist Tim Jones right around the Akron area. We've been looking at the view from his screen there in the corner. But Tim, what are you looking at and what are you going to be following as it enters into Nebraska? Well, Kit, right now I'm in Akron, Colorado. I've just uh, gone from the northeast side of town to the southeast side of town, so I've dropped south a couple miles. I'm looking at the leading edge of uh, these thunderstorms. There's no severe weather uh, in front of me right now, and that's a good thing. But uh, the tornado that I saw earlier with this storm uh, to my now is to my north. It's tornado warned, and that's going to move up into the panhandle. Uh, of Nebraska here in the next 30 minutes, but uh, what's in front of me and off to my left, which is to the south, uh, is the line of thunderstorms that's going to move into southwest Nebraska here in the next couple hours. So they're kind of, right now they're moving kind of slowly, but they'll start to progress a little more easterly here, uh, as I said, in the next couple hours. The threat immediately is large hail and damaging winds, but we still have a remnant tornado threat uh, over the next couple hours. It does move into uh, southwestern, the south, the western tier of counties in Nebraska. And of course, Kit mentioned uh, also uh, Perkins counties as Chase County, uh, Dundee counties as well. And then as the storms progress further to the east, uh, we'll look at a little more of a wind and hail threat. But right now, uh, I'm going to continue to track these storms back to the east. I'll have reports all night long as conditions warrant uh, in uh, western Nebraska. In the meantime, I'm meteorologist Tim Jones live in Storm Chaser 4 people can tell you about the weather, we'd prefer to show it to you. Kit, back to you. Thank you so much, Tim. Now, just one more time on that uh, tornado warning that's between Sterling and Crook, Colorado. That's moving north, so Cheyenne County could be looking at a tornado threat shortly with this storm as it progresses. Of course, right now, not under that tornado warning. But looking at the low temperatures overnight tonight, we're dropping back into the 60s for most of eastern Nebraska, all the way down into the 30s, though, for the panhandle behind the low pressure system and the cold front with it associated. The highs tomorrow are going to be back up into the the 70s again a lot of heat a lot of moisture to fuel the chance for some severe weather we already have a slight risk out for tomorrow and the tornado threat with that as well your seven day forecast and summary of the forecast here we've got temperatures starting off upper 70s low 80s with a storm threat again on wednesday and by the end of the week as we head towards memorial day weekend it looks like we're going to be right around average in the 70s we'll be right back